Hi, I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on exponential functions. We are going to discuss how do we find growth rate or growth factor or decay rate and decay factor from the given condition. So we'll look into two questions. Question number one here is find growth factor associated with each growth rate. So that's the first question. And the second question is, find growth rate associated with growth factor. So that will help you understand how do we use these two terms. So let's do the very first one. Now, four parts. You can always pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestion. So the question here is, find growth factor associated with each growth rate. So, growth rate of 25%. So, let's convert this rate in decimal value. So, first step is, so write it as 0 0.25. That is the decimal value, right? So, growth factor will be increasing by that much. So, the growth factor will be 1 plus 0 0.25 which is equals to 1.25, right? So that becomes the growth factor in this particular case, right? So the steps involved are, first convert the percent to decimal equivalent. So let's do for part B also. 6% means 6 over 100, right? 6% means 6 over 100, which is 0 0.06, okay? So growth fa factor is given as the term by which it is being multiplied each time. So, growth factor will be how much? Can you tell me? 1 plus 0 0.06, which is 1.06. Is that clear to you? So, I'd like you to adopt this method and answer the next two also. So, let's do 100%, right? So, 100% when you convert to decimal, what will it be? Well, 100 divided by 100 is 1. And 1 plus 1 is 2. So, in this case, the growth factor is 2, right? So, it will double. And if it is 200%, it is equivalent to 200 over 100, which is 2. And the factor will be 1 plus 2, which is 3, right? So, you get the idea. How do we find the growth factor? Clear. So now let's see the reverse of it in question number two. In this question, we are given find the growth rate associated with each growth factor. So we are given the growth rates of 1.1, 1 1.5, 1, 1, and 3. We have to find the growth rate from the given growth factor. So, rewrite this as 1 plus what, right? So, 1.1 can be written as 1 plus 0 0.1, correct? So, 0 0.1, we have to write rate as the percent value, right? So, 0 0.1 times 100 will be 10%, correct? So, growth rate is 10%. Is that clear to you? So, that is how we are going to find the growth rate. So, let's do it once again. 1.5 can be written as 1 plus 0 0.5. So, the rate, which should be in percent, is 0 0.5 times 100, which is 50%. Is it okay? Next, 1. So, 1 can be written as 1 plus 0, right? So, here, it is not growing at all, right? It is just a constant function, right? So, growth rate... is 0%. In case of 3, it can be written as 1 plus 2 and therefore, the growth rate in percent will be 2 times 100, which is 200%. So, I hope with this, the concept of finding growth rate from growth factor or growth factor from growth rate is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. 
If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.